Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I just wanted to share with you a, a simple impact drill, but really what I feel is the, the best one out there. Um, and I think golf pros on the whole tend to not agree too much on the, the golf swing, but I think one area they do is, is impact. And I think the starting point is that we need some shaft lean there and also dynamics. We need some separation between the lower body and the upper body. I think really in all the beginners and amateurs I teach and shorter hitters, they tend to never really have any separation or disassociation between the lower half and upper half. And that makes it very difficult to one, generate speed, two, create the correct swing line down and square the club head and create any shaft lanes for the ball. So they're all very much related to your ability to separate your lower body from your upper body. So there's definitely, you know, worth getting checked out, flexibility issues, you know, are you able to separate your lower body from your upper body? But I think just even practicing it, you know, static, place the club head behind the ball and just really trying to feel that the, the front leg straightens. As you can see here that my front leg is straightening while I come off my right heel, I roll more onto the instep while the shoulders stay relatively square. So I'm going to demonstrate sort of two different positions. This one on the left hand side is maybe a little bit more for the better player, advanced position. You can see my shoulders are aiming a little bit left, my forearms a little bit left. This would be sort of your better player fade position or depending on the style of your swing. So at times it is okay to have the shoulders sort of 15. 20 degrees open is what I would teach as a standard. But if the player is a draw of the ball or learning, I would tend to teach an impact that would look more like this, where the shoulders are relatively parallel with the forearms, um, and then a nice separation, left legs straighten, hips are 45 degrees open or there or thereabouts relative to a sort of square uh, shoulder segment. Because that's really the one position if we go from very unorthodox swing, say a, a Jim Furyk through to, uh, you know, an Adam Scott, they're all going to look very similar at that place in terms of the lower body separation relative to the upper body. And pretty much without, you know, very few exceptions, the higher handicap, the beginner, they have no disassociation. So they would look very much like this at set uh, set up and at impact sorry you know there'd be no separation problem with that move as well we tend to come out of our posture a lot there's that sort of where they feel they're lifting their head up you know it's more that the chest and the upper segment is is raising you know and just losing body angles and you know the tpi guys that talk talk about early extension where through impact or downswing the chest very much raises up and the the tailbone moves forward but if we can create some dynamics here then most of those things won't occur so that's really the starting point of the drill just practice learning to go from setup into impact and see if we can get that disassociation in the hips there i'll often get guys to put a club across their shoulders so the the shoulder line is set sort of at the target and then get them to disassociate that lower body there and then in terms of from face on, you know, this is what we're sort of looking for, this look here. So this would be, let's get you, get into setup, and then that would be impact. So again, setup, and now into impact. So you can see that I'm putting pressure into the ground on the handle to increase the shaft lean. And we need this to be able to hit down on the ball. The right knee has moved in. The right ankle has rolled with the weight on the instep. Weight's pretty much now 80% on my left foot or lead leg. So that would be set up and now into impact. And then, you know, really that to me is about the best drill you can do. You know, the, the chest there is now in front of the ball which we're after uh, belt buckle line is just slightly in front of the ball and that's really one of the keys to learning to hit if we had a golf ball here 
uh, ball then ground, sorry, rather than ground then ball. Most issues with hitting the ground before the ball is due to lack of dynamics. You know, if you look at a video, I think if you're struggling hitting lots of ground then ball, very much outside in swing lines, you're going to look very much like me on the left hand side there at impact instead of set up looking that way and then impact actually creating some dynamic so you know especially for the beginner the average beginner would think the less movement we can have the more likely I am to be able to create a consistent contact point which you know that makes sense the, the problem is in reality we need that disassociation we need those lower body dynamics to allow us to create shaft lean and get that correct ball contact so that's really what I would work on then from there we can just sort of build up the difficulty. I would then teach players, and if I was teaching a beginner, for instance, this would be lesson one. You know, everything's so related to that impact position, the ability to separate. Then I teach players just to swing the club horizontal to the ground, back, and then down. So now I'll get them, teach them sort of stage one, and now from there the club head will swing down on the same plane. So can they get back to impact? You know, and then from there they would go ahead and hit the ball. So it sort of carried on. Here I'd go into club shaft horizontal to the ground, get back to that place. Then they'll go ahead and hit the ball. Then from there, once they're able to do that, I would work it up to sort of halfway. Again, can they get back to that place and stop? And then work it all the way to the top, back to that place and then eventually sort of all the way back and all the way through. And really, this is how Tiger developed his sting shot. He worked on a very similar position, restricting the follow-through, practicing swinging to a stop, which is a, a favorite of Butch Harmon's again, to make sure, can we get from a, I would do this quite fast, but you can just do this slowly, can I swing down to impact and stop? And actually, one, create the position we're after in terms of the the lower body relative to the upper body, but can I swing back to impact with the club face square uh, with the, the club in the middle of the ball? And it's easier said than done. So lots of players I do this with, the face will actually be aiming way right to the target or way left, or you'll actually be returning the club back to the, the ball in the neck of the club or the toe of the club.